Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and this time was more of the Arkham Megalo, and hopefully this button works. It sure did, look at it. All the information on there, it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, um, so last time we did a bit of playing of, um, especially Final Fantasy XIV and Symphony of the Night. Uh, Averin was able to find the gravity boots for Alucard to get higher up into um, Castlevania. Uh, he was able to then find himself the Jewel of Open, so we're, we have access to the entire uh, normal castle, but still not the uh, inverted castle. I believe uh, the Holy Glasses were in uh, Link to the Past, which still needs something to unlock it, so we still got a ways to go. Uh, but moreover, uh, Alucard was able to find a couple of important things for Leah, and we're going to be starting with Crosscode today. Uh, was able to find a uh, progressive dungeon unlock, and was able to find a progressive uh, zone unlock. So we have access to uh, Maroon Valley and Baki Kum, and that's where we're going to be starting with today. So let me open up Crosco and we'll get started. Just open this here. Uh, don't think the sound is coming through for y'all, is it? Okay, well, for one thing, it's muted, so it wouldn't. But also, it's feeding to the wrong audio. Uh, it's feeding to the wrong audio sync. Let me open the mixer and fix that. Now it should be feeding to VIO3. Why is it not doing that? Well, that's annoying. Let me try restarting the game. Also, I'm going to actually unmute the uh, game audio channel, but that was not the problem. Like, I, I could hear it on my end immediately. The sound was too loud, which means it's coming through the general audio, which means that you would not be able to hear it. Uh, is it coming through now? I don't think it's coming through. Why is it not coming through? Oh boy. Emergent issues. But that was definitely coming through the last time that we uh that we played. And it is configured to come through VIO3. The, that word means nothing to y'all, but I assure you that means it's supposed to be uh, working correctly. Okay, well I don't really have the time to deal with it. So now it is coming through, but uh, so is everything else on my computer. So if you hear any notification sounds, that's why. I don't know why CrossCode is being a butt right now. I will have to remember to turn it back um, after we're done here. So hopefully no one decides to uh, send me any messages, because that would be annoying. It's 
So, change game. Press code. And we're, we've received all of our items as they are scrolling up the, uh, the side of the screen there. A bit small. Uh, most notably Wave. Uh, and the yellow sand and the blue ice shade. We got a couple of shades there and that is very good. That allows us to uh, get into a couple of more areas. I just need to remember where... Right, okay. Uh, it would be through the diving railway. That is not the way. Also, I really should open the universal tracker so that I have any idea what I should be aiming for. God. Might help if I didn't hit keys that uh, are not part of the words slot seven. So yeah, um, Maroon Valley wide open. Baki Kum three checks. And the Baki Eldris should give us uh, our way forward from there. And then we should have access to here. There we go. And we have a bunch of checks in uh, Moon Valley. Starting with one right in this zone. Right over here. Shining Brazer. I should probably check my uh, my inventory here. There's probably some upgrades. No boots. No. And do you have a weapon upgrade? You have a few weapon upgrades, actually. Once you finish your paperwork before your stream. Hooray. Okay. Um, actually, I also have the... Uh, the pop tracker open just in case it decides to cooperate today. Naturally, it doesn't. All of the checks in Maroon Valley are red, which is very incorrect. I don't know what the deal is, and, uh, well, whatever. At least I have the um, the universal tracker. So I can still take a look at that and see what checks it says I have access to. That's too high. Trying to figure out there is one chest around here. Down on the other side? There it is. Um, but how do I get there?
area. Area. All right. We're getting there. Oh, elevator key card. Uh, that might open something up. Let's uh, let's go take a look real quick. No, that does not open anything up. Oh well. Uh, need help again. I don't think that uh, the quests are required for logic, at least in this version, but uh, not a bad idea to get them done anyway. So I'm gonna leave this world shut. Uh, that's kind of how it feels sometimes. Just there. Clearly, I get it from another map. That is too high. Doesn't look important, but uh, I'll still get it. And so it's off my plate. 21, well, 21 coins. Any coins that I can get for Claire be good to have. I should actually do a little bit more fighting because uh, like my gear is really high but my actual uh, level is kind of low. Good for one level. I do appreciate the fact that, like, it doesn't level you up until your uh, combo is done, so that you can just kind of maintain the flow of combat until your time your timer actually expires. It doesn't get interrupted by, uh, oh, you gotta level up, wait a second, okay, now you can go, oh, you leveled up again. 
like things like that. Now this is important, but I don't have the correct key, so I can't open that. I think you're supposed to hit these guys with fire, and that's why they there were uh, I had trouble actually getting them down. And I don't have fire yet, so I do need to check the circuit board for wave though, because I have a bunch of circuit points to spend. Uh, this is the dash art. Like guard art, I'm not too concerned with guard arts or art. Just pick one. Uh, where is the melee art? Is there? Uh, but basically, um, every circuit board has one art that goes up to level three, I believe. Or is it two arts? Yeah, two arts go to level three, one goes to level two, and one goes only to level one. I don't know where the path is for the level one. I'll just go with that. Uh, status mend, I feel. Always good. And be sinful. out of the other side of the, on the split path. Oh yeah, uh, you can only have one of these two at once, but you can change it anytime for free. Sure, if that's the intended solution, but hey, it works. Of 
Golden check. A golden feather to Claire. I think I'm getting pretty close to being able to finish a, a shore hike, actually. I think that's like eight golden feathers. That might be enough to climb the mountain. And like the the goal that I have set for it is uh, get to the top of Hawk Peak and then go back home and take a nap. So we might end up finishing our first game today. I'm not guaranteeing it, but there's a pretty good chance, I think. I see. Oh. Uh, this path is not blocked by a shade, actually. Uh, it is blocked by something on that side. Could hype the title with awesome first game clear. Like, do you mean like the VOD or something? Because I don't really have any like naming convention for the VOD other than the Archimegalo session number part number. Sand sharks are annoying to get. Okay, that's not the shot that I was trying to make, but uh, hey. I'm trying to shoot this. I was finding the correct angle for it. Now that I can access here. Yeah, there we go. That gives us access to a sirloin for all of our a button, which means I have to come at it from the other side. That's a shock trigger. Uh, 
problem is I don't see anything on the other side that I could specifically be hitting. Well, I guess I can come over here. But that there's another... There we go. That gives us an important item. The ether spell to Mipha. I don't know how important that is, but okay. Hey, J-Pop, how you doing? Oh, DL request. I've gotten 25% of the, uh, the flora in, uh, Crossworlds, uh, catalog. Important item, five levels of samurai. That's not important. Now there is a lot though. I think as far as just like jumping puzzles and shortcuts, I think Maroon Valley might be one of the most elaborate without being like without using like specific mechanics like later on um i do have to use the wave ability to kind of warp myself around and in case you missed it j-pop we might be finishing a game today it is not a cross code, but um, Leah did find another golden feather for Claire, and that might be enough to get her to the top of Hog Peak. Ah, not bothering with this. Sandwiches. Aha! Okay, that is the button that uh, will let us pass through this little zone. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, clearing a short hike will give me a release token. And I will not be using it on a short hike. Um, I'm sure I could, but I think there are other games that that's going to be more useful for. Five levels of Samurai.
there are much bigger games to use it on. Plus, like, I just kind of like running around in a short hike. Yeah, I also kind of like running around in cross code, but uh, it can be a little frustrating sometimes. I get that. Oh, I probably need to actually get that chest, and it just opens those gates. So I would need to find a way up there. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, I think I'm, I would end up using a release token in that, because that is a lot more slow-paced. Okay, so we do have access to Fyro Temple, but we don't have any checks and logic in there. Maybe the game expects me to have talked to the Baki Eldress first. Yeah, that's all the landmarks. Go get some new boots. That is not where to do that. It's kind of interesting to have this like solar farm here. It's like, yeah, but how do you fit that into the story? And uh, it's pretty much like the humans moved in and we set up the solar farm, I guess. Uh, I don't remember exactly where it fits in, but. Uh... Okay, so those flat ones are actually traversable, that I remember. Just kind of some tricky jumps to make. Ouch. Okay. Of course, you don't you don't want to not to normally be standing on a solar panel that's been out in the uh, desert sun all day. But uh, it's okay, because we're made of instant matter. We do not experience this heat ourselves. All my little seeds. Market East and solar, f solar Farm Lower? There's still a chest in the Solar Farm we can get? Or is there another Solar Farm elsewhere? I don't remember. You run at light speed. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Oops. Uh, 
I forget if there's a limit of um, of quests that I can uh, accept at once. I guess we'll find out eventually. I can't climb that. Said so something about using analysis. Like one of the few times that it actually makes you use analysis. Now we go back to the solar farm. That's your deal, buddy. Also, a pretty good reason to be doing uh, quests for, just for the experience. A laser bridge. Yeah, we, we crossed a laser bridge. What are you talking about, Emily? Sends a saber to Olicard. <laughs> I'm wondering if the reason that I that uh, Fire Temple isn't open yet. Yeah, because I the quest that we just got is to go save the um, the big tree because something's going up with that so i'm wondering if like that is actually required in order for me to actually be able to get into fire temple and that's why that's not in magic I know there's one place somewhere here that I can jump on top of these uh, these tents here and just start running across. Can I go upstairs here? Yes, I can. Actually, there's a chest. Oh, up there. Um, oh, wah. Uh, I think going Oh. No, nah, it's a sil it's a silver lock anyway. We do not have the key for that. Okay, so here I am up top here. That's 
some bronze. That jump has got to be makeable, it's just a matter of like, sometimes some of these jumps are a little too precise, honestly. And then I just jump off of that like a Dorcas. Five legendary sprouts that let you make the legendary weapon. Now, how do I get over there? Maybe I don't worry about it for now. Uh, Market East. There is a chest. Let me check the... Maybe I don't get anything from um, the pop tracker, but at least it tells me like the names of locations and where those locations are. That's the chest that I have access to, which means I do have access to go over there. Which I honestly didn't doubt, it's just I have to get around to here, and like I'm not really sure. Like unless I were to play this game like every every week, I don't think I'd be able to like remember where every single thing is because there's a lot. Definitely can't jump over there from here. Now. to this pillar? And if there is, would that give me anything? I don't think I can jump from there to there. Because this is a lower than that.
Ah, whatever. Not gonna worry about it at least for now. Because uh, I saw the chest and it is a regular chest. It's not. It's not labeled as important. It's not labeled as progression. Uh, solar farm lower, however, is uh, available. And it's probably around there. Come to think of it, where did Emily go? She's not in the party, is she? Did she leave town? You're in the party now. Got it. Yeah, I think uh, per the story, uh, she had to log off early to finish a project. So uh, this was a good opportunity for me to meet up with someone new. I should probably deal with you before uh... You know, Toby, if you're such a nerd, you should help me with trigonometry. In other words, how do I hit this? There we go. Not sure I was supposed to hit it from this side, but here we are. Okay, that, that opened this up and press this. Oh, and I have to there. That gives us a progression item, a treasure bumper. Is there anything else in that room? No. What's up?
I am into fighting. And I tell you, Tuesday night is all right for fighting. Toby, please. There we go. Did opening this give me anything? Yeah, I guess I have access to this, but like, no reason for that at the moment. Wait a minute. Uh, there we go. I was wondering what was going on there. I wasn't able to get out. here are kind of hard to follow sometimes. There's a chest here somewhere. Not sure, take the high road. Sometimes you gotta take it for a long time. It is a progression item, but I need bronze unlock for that.
Oh wait, didn't I need to talk to you? Pass is in the multi world. Got it. Apple Palm Olive analyzed. That's what it said, right? Oh boy, I engaged combat from a distance. That's always great. I engaged even more combat from a distance. The problem with this guy is he kind of floats so that I can't actually hit it most of the time. Should be able to get that chest from this path. There it is, and it is a flame star for all the guard. Um, anything else here? Still one chest. And then the Oasis Center. Oh, right by the tree, and it looks like it is a progression item, so I do need to get up there. Dang it. See, what would be helpful is like just some item that uh, lets you like restore your position. It's like, oh no, I fell off this platform. Well, I'm going to restore my position so I can be on the path to that platform. And like, you can make it so that you can only like save and restore at certain points. Like, I wouldn't be able to restore to like right there. But like, let me restore to like, here, right? But I still gotta do some of the path, like some of the hard parts, but I don't need to just do the busy work of like having to get there again. And what we get? Red Flame Shade! Does that give me access to anywhere else? Oh fuck yes it does. We have access to Autumn's Fall. Let me open that door. Like a kill room? Is there like a button nearby? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> I 
First rule of Fight Club, always ask your mom if you can join Fight Club. Ah, here we go. And this will lead us to another progression item. Oh, it's Samus' Plasma Beam. I don't know if that specifically gives me progression, but it's going to make things a little easier to deal with. help if I had any idea like what that what things looked like over there because like some of these uh, some of these shots are almost making it to the switch but they're expiring before they get there Deal with these guys. Okay. getting up to that platform. Oh, it's not going to be through here. to get around from Also I find it kind of hilarious that this area is called Long Piece. I wonder where they could have gotten the idea. Sometimes I kind of lose track of the thread that I'm following because some of these threads are really long. You know, that opens things up a little more here. Detected. And it requires. Eh, it took some time to get here and I can't open it. <laughs>
that is clearly... So this looks like it connects up here. So I would need to like loop down from there. I do kind of wish I didn't have to like mentally figure this out every time. I mean, I suppose I could like look up a guide, but where's the fun in that? Anyway, I need to. But that's a button. If I can't go from there, and I can't go from the other side, then where do I go in from? If I'm masking and you're mirroring, then who's flying the plane? So I can't jump that. It's too far. Not that it would do me any good anyway. Just go for a change of pace. We're gonna go over to Autumn's Fall since that's open up now. I mean, I guess that works out. Definitely leads me to believe that I was supposed to come in from the other side, but whatever. Okay, so that one would require a silver key. We only have gold at the moment. A gold key cannot open a silver lock. nor to the way around. Ooh, progress progression item there. I'm gonna follow the thread that it might be getting me to do here. You really want me to make a run like that? There's a progression item too, and that is, that is a box that I can open. <sighs> and this is where I temporarily switch over to uh, keyboard controls. Because that's going to be more, uh... Oh, Scavenger Mask to Rune Seeker. Yeah, that's, gonna, that's definitely going to help. That's not the sword that I'm hoping to get here, but hey. That's going to make the quarry a lot less scary. So close. Hmm. 
Uh, where are they going in? Here. And just jump this, yes. There we go. Huh? Treasure bumper to Cali? Alright. Yeah, some of these jumps are uh, very tricky. You kind of get used to it. And like, I, I do hope that uh, that they address that problem with Alabaster Dawn. Put this. Hey, Tyrion, how you doing? <sighs> yeah, the platforming sometimes is a pain, but like it also is really satisfying when you figure out the path that uh, that you need to take. It does get especially frustrating in the DLC area though. There is one there is one jumping puzzle that literally takes you throughout the entire zone. It'd be better but fine. Well you're making it through. That in itself is important. Let's uh... Get some experience. Two levels up. Hmm. Ah. Does that open anything else than that? No, it does not. And I can't open that. Oh, then I maybe can make this. This path takes us to the raid zone, and I don't know how the game would react to me going to the raid zone um, way ahead of story. The Skimitar. Oh. 
Ah, hang, thank you for uh, for picking up the slack there, Toby. Another killer room? No. Oh yes, it is. Oh, with five of these jerks. We gon' whack these moles. Also, I just realized, like, my... I didn't check the level of any of this. I probably should do that. Five levels of Dragoon. Let's move on. That is not how to check the level. No, we're at level 32, 34. Well, we did gain a few levels in the last few minutes for sure. complicating things. Huh. I see. Need to hit it from here. Whack-a-mole with hammer repair costs. Bring your own hammer. Another level up. And another chest that I can't actually access, but there is a fighting zone here. Really should be using my elements more often. Oh! I could be an EA game dev. happens, but uh, I don't have the story trigger to actually make that happen right now. In fact, I'm kind of concerned that I kind of broke the story because uh, I never got the guild pass check from Schneider. Oops. Really sure how to get that. Oh, good. I I pulled another one. And 
you're overthinking this, Toby. It's a video game. Except it's not really a video game. <laughs> A little more complicated than that. There we go. I think that was the intended the intended solution too. MP offering to Rune Seeker. However, I'm not really sure how to get out of this now. Well, there's one way I can get out of it. Still not sure what the deal is, unless I can... Yeah, okay. This looks like something. Kind of. Maybe not. Yeah, whatever. Uh... Russian item. Okay, so I need to get through this. But I do need to get over here. Get over here! A guess about that push block. Uh, actually, what is your guess about the push block? Right now, I'm open to suggestions. Oh, well, is this something? Sure is. There we go. Was that your guess? Oh, thanks for sending me the brainwave. Heading toward a progression item. But... Hmm. There we go. Waddle deliveries. I think... 
Not sure what that is, actually. It might be the shop. Oops. Oh, you know what? I think it's that friggin' mini game. Which was the last thing that I finished in my actual stream series of the game itself. Because it does count toward the 100% rating. Okay. So that other progression item... Now I'm remembering to jump through here. Okay, there we go. Five levels dancer. Unfortunately... Despite being marked progression, that does not help me progress. Now if it was a Reaper, that would be a different story, but uh, we're running out of Reaper levels. I think there are only four left in the pool. Oh, we're just back here. Jerk. I'll follow him eventually. I'm not in a hurry. This is definitely something that could be improved upon. Because, like, I feel like this requires a level of precision that is kind of hard to achieve. There we I guess I can jump over here. Then if I had the silver key, I'd be able to open that. You're such a nerd. And if Leah could talk, she would let you know that you are a nerd. And if Emily was here, she would definitely let you know that you're a nerd.
One more level. This is back in uh, back in Rogue uh, I not Rogue Port. Rogue Port is is a uh, friggin' Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. This is uh, Rookie Harbor. That's it. Where is this chest? The Harbor Falling Exit is in logic. Is it over here? Is a progression item. It's a memory. We're getting close. I think that's 17. Three more of those and uh, Final Fantasy 14 is done. And that is definitely one that I'm going to be spending a, a release token on. I have to come around from a different direction for that. This is a different zone altogether. We don't have access to that yet. Thread to follow here. I'm seeing one, but not seeing how to get into it. I think I might have been following the thread to the end rather to the beginning. Let's 
got to be a way nearby to climb up. This is openable. following a thread. Because again, a lot of threads rely on like getting up to somewhere. So I guess I'm going to follow this guy for a minute. Or not. And has this been... Okay. I think following the uh, the weird bunny has been the thread the entire time. And my very first reaction was, we'll get to that later, which was not the correct reaction at all. Icon. Is that an upgrade? Uh, it is very not. Okay, so now I can actually do something with this block. This isn't like a quest, is it? Oh, it's, it is an encyclope encyclopedia entry. Item a ooh, the crystal gatherer. It's not massively important, but it's useful. Is there anything else here? There's still one thing. Uh, on its fall. And uh, 
this is eastern exit. Oh, uh, yeah, it's locked. That was incorrect. Bye. A laser bridge. Russian item there. Let's see if we can get that. But we're getting pretty close to break time. And I would like to switch games. I, I mean, I say that. I would like to continue playing this because, like, I do like running around. I realize it's not very engaging to you guys. So I'm gonna give you guys a break. But let's see if I can find one more progression item. I think I do have to put this here in order to be able to progress. Still kind of wonder how to get that progression item though. And that's how. Now Fumble with the geometry. Move that around. Hey Zero, how you doing? And we get a waddle dee. Um I'm gonna move on to the next. <laughs> Go catch up with that jumping bastard around Great Lake. That I think is something we're gonna keep for next time. Cause uh this is definitely break time. So we made some progress. Um, let's go take a look. I really wish that that music would keep playing though, because I, I want to look at some, uh, let's see. Hmm. Well, that's cool. The stream deck just kind of locked up. Yeah, let me try restarting the Stream Deck app. Not Stream Deck. The Stream Deck. Something something Odelay. Yeah, Odelay is a word. Just look it up in the Bactionary.
Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Yeah, it is not communicating with the stream deck at all. Let me try removing this. Well, that's cool. I mean, of course there had to be a technical difficulty, because otherwise it wouldn't really be Let's Play the World. You good? I think it's fine. I don't know what the problem was, but it might have been USB related. Because I unplugged it and I plugged it and it's fine. Uh, let's see. Oh. Um, slot six. Uh, I think Logic is uh, expecting me to have at least one more golden feather in order to get to the top of Hawk Peak. Because it is not showing as, uh, at the very least, it's not showing up here. We're going to give it a try anyway. Because I feel like we can probably, excuse me, probably get to the top there. We don't have enough uh, Waddle Dees for uh, the next boss and Kirby. Um... There's a couple of extra checks in Metroid. Didn't really get anything for Astalon. Bumper stickers has a couple of treasure bumpers, not a whole lot there. Uh, Tunic. The Rooted Ziggurat. Oh boy. Yeah, there is a lot open there. Like, I really don't have a choice but to mark this as progression. There's so many checks, just that I don't have a sword, so everything sucks. But it's gonna suck a little less now that I have the scavenger mask. So, tunic. Uh, did that work? Yes, it did. I'll mark that as available. Um, the cross code still plenty to do there. Uh, Astalon, I don't think we got anything like at all. Yeah, there's still a couple of checks open there, but we didn't get anything. Uh, Symphony of the Night, there's still a couple of checks that uh, I still don't know how to get the jewel knuckles, and the pork bun, I think, is a um, a logic error, as far as I can tell. So when we come back, I think we are going to... Uh, make an attempt at uh, climbing Hawk's Peak. At the very least, we can try. And after that, I think I'm just gonna play Tunic. 
I'm still kind of not great on that idea because um, with, with not having a sword yet, it just makes things hard. Anyway, it is, however, break time. You probably heard that. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's going to be break, so y'all can take a moment, get some to drink, uh, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10, 10 to 15 minutes, um, it will be time for a small bird to try to climb a big mountain, and for a small fox to try to go deeper. Brown. Anyway. I will see you in a bit.